I wasn't never close with her like that until like the end. Like we got the click when he started coming outside. He wasn't never coming outside. I never, he, like he's one of them niggas like, mom's got the supper at home type shit. He running home at seven o'clock. But he was never outside though. So he could never run home. He just always went home. He never was on the block hanging with us. When I first met him and shit, I asked him what he was. He said, I'm no limit. I said, how the fuck you throw limit? I'm, I'm really no limit. You ain't never been on my block. Where the fuck you from? I ain't no bro, you know. I just let him do them. I let him claim what he claim. I ain't question on it. I was a shorty. I thought he wanted to hang with us. I just let him do that. But I know I didn't grow up with bro. He wasn't an original nigga. So you know, on the outside looking in, it kind of looked like y'all was uh, close. I remember him mentioning you a lot, you know, seeing y'all pop up on the internet, like shit like that. So you, you saying that all that shit was like <laughs> fake type shit? Nah, none of that shit wasn't fake. That was bro after we started, you know, Oh, that was like click. down the line type shit? Yeah, that's my homie. That's my, that, came, that became my homie and shit. You know, I love him like a brother. I love him like a brother and, you know, that's my homie too though. I want none of that shit fake of me hanging with him ever. I never do fake shit. So when y'all met, was he uh, rapping already? Bro started rapping like 2000. Yeah, that was like 10, like the end of 10. That was 10. What year phase of that? And 10, and 10. That was April? Well, yeah, he started rapping at 10. So that probably like the middle of 10 going to the end. That was like the middle of 10 going to the end. So he like, he started rapping in like 2000, yeah, 2010. So back then, you know, how was that, you know, seeing all that shit going on? And a, a lot of probably different attention coming to y'all block shit like that. Was that shit weird at first or? Did y'all nah, it, the attention wasn't on that shit. Like, bro was just, he just literally rapping and shit a lot. So he would be rapping on the phone and shit. Like, he never was in no studio yet. He would just, he would record on a cricket or some shit like that. What the fuck, we had some crickets. Got, got the voice record shit, rap on the phone. You know, the the, the record shit only was lasting one minute. Bro getting on that bitch. With the beat in the background. Beat in the background on the radio, <laughs> just rapping. Showing that shit to the guy, we damn you hot as hell, boy. <laughs> so you know how you feel about his success and shit like that, you know, take care of his friends and family shit. His success? I don't support like I love I I love him for making this shit. I ain't I want everybody around me to make it. I want every nigga in this room with me with an M or at least six figures if we can't get an M. I want everybody around me to make it. I'm proud of them for making it, but I ain't proud of them for not doing shit for the niggas around them who was around them before he made it. So, you know, on the outside looking in, it kind of look like he do. Like, if you listen to the music, you know, it look like he take care of his hood, shit like that. So you saying, like, the shit he's saying in his raps, he not doing? Because I even heard him say, like, you know, his his homies around him, they millionaires, all type of shit in his music. He said, what? I don't know the exact song. <laughs> I don't want to misquote the lyric, but I, I'm pretty sure somewhere he said. Oh, like, you talking you about know? that one shit? You said all his homies millionaires, like his homies got and shit. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he talking about other rappers. He ain't talking about like niggas like in the room right here. He talking about other niggas who got on Bibby and niggas like that. He ain't talking about, he ain't talking about niggas like that. So how is that? Like, you know, before motherfuckers made it, like, was that a conversation motherfuckers had? Like, if you know, you know, if you make it, taking the hood with them type shit? Yeah, every nigga, every nigga in the hood said that when they when they was rapping like. Why wouldn't the nigga say the nigga, bro right here, Mercy rapping, Faro rapping, a lot of little way rapping. That's nigga, we going through so much shit together. You know, we out here witnessing the guys dying. Certain days we out here zero dollars hanging with each other like fo, we gotta we gotta do better, fo. We gotta this shit gotta change, fo. You know? So once a motherfucker start doing some shit like fo them doing, rapping and shit, 
that's Ed nigga dream to like look out for the niggas who was fucked up when they won, you know? Like when we was all fucked up, that's niggas dream to be like do for your